Industrial organizational psychology involves applying psychological principles and theory to the workforce. Organizational psychology touches upon all the elements involved in the life cycle of an employee. How IO psychology primarily differ is that we're working with the workforce, working with the workplace, and typically with employees or teams opposed to an individual client who may be experiencing um, an, an actual um, mental disorder or just they're just having some adjustment issues. We're not providing talk therapy or kind of behavioral therapy to those in the workforce. We're, we're dealing with critical areas of importance to organizations that ultimately help the bottom line. Well, initially, I wanted to be a clinician because I really love to help and empower others. So I knew psychology was the field for me, but many years ago, I thought it was clinical psychology. And I fortunately had the opportunity to have an, a client as an undergrad at Alfred University, which is in Western New York. And during that experience, it dawned upon me that this was much tougher than I thought, and I had issues. Um, handling one client, how would I be able to balance many? And I also love to see um, immediate change and improvement. And when working with individuals and sometimes with organizations, that change doesn't happen as rapid as I personally would like for it to occur. So then I decided to venture into IO psychology based on an undergraduate course that I had completed. Typical clients for industrial organizational psychologists run the gamut from Fortune 500 organizations to the Department of Defense to very small private companies to nonprofits. There is no average workday for me since I own and operate my own business, KFR Consulting Inc. They vary because of the arrangement that I have. For other industrial organizational psychologists, it really depends. There are some that are internal in an organization and their days are more consistent. Big area is training and development, in particular, new employee orientation, which many in research um, are now, and those out in the field are referring to as onboarding. Most employees go in with the mindset of, oh, gosh, I have this new employee training. There's disengagement. You know, there, some are texting on their phone. Well, IO psychologists can come in and help ensure that the training is meeting all the different generations needs because we do have four different generations in the workforce at this point in time, as well as link in, you know, the greater mission vision of the company, um, connect, really connect the the new employee to the organization and do it and offer this through a variety of mediums. You know, the days of just having the traditional stand-up, new employee um, orientation or onboarding, I, I think, aren't as common for some organizations. Many have moved to an online platform to do this or even use Second Life type of technology. So an IO psychologist can help from assisting with the look and feel of the training, and this applies to any training to uh, developing the material for the training, developing the pre-test, post-test for the training to look at training effectiveness, as well as most importantly, ensuring that this training really links and aligns with the job. Currently, here in August 2010, we are facing a recession that has been ongoing. And one would think, as a result of this economy, that retention would be quite high for most organizations. Well, actually, that's, on, that's the contrary for some fields, particularly sales or more of the dangerous industries. So organizations have realized that employee engagement helps keep and retain employees in the workforce and reducing turnover and increasing retention. 
So recently had a client who was interested in measuring engagement in the workforce so that they have a baseline to work with and can subsequently use that data to implement different um, programs to help improve retention in the company because their turnover is quite high despite the economic situation we currently face. So to help remedy this, I provided an online survey using a platform similar to those offered online. These are items that I have developed and validated previously and customized them to the client's need. And that data has then been analyzed and broken down by different segments, such as men, women, departments, et cetera. And now the client has it and they will use it to implement these programs to help increase uh, retention for their workforce. Really helps a excellent industrial organizational psychologist is that they have business acumen. They really know business speak. For those that are consulting, now not all IO psychologists are consulting, many are art scholars, so the characteristics that are needed for that vary. But for those that are in the trenches, they really need to be able to speak business, know that speak business. The most important aspect of my graduate training and has been very helpful in my current role as has been the ability to take kind of this multidisciplinary approach to the products and services that I provide. At, at this point in time, there's some confusion over what we do, what we're able to do, because those from HR or business schools have and, and do provide similar services. And so what I really hope is that our value continues to increase and that um, through some various networks or professional organizations, we're really able to communicate what we offer. And that goes back to being able to show how we really affect the bottom line. Besides the value um, concern, I also have colleges who continue to become more global. I see at more conferences that I attend, those that are smaller and in, in as far as participation, there's consistently an increase in the global presence. Industrial organizational psychology is an excellent career choice because you got to think about where do we spend the majority of our time? 40 hours a week at work. And you have the opportunity to have an effect in an area where we devote the most amount of time. But at the end of the day, industrial organizational psychology will allow those who are interested to have a great impact on the workforce.